Okay, I remembered one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, so, I'm getting really free, and one of the things that we're fighting here as a family is just negativity, and, and using your words negatively and saying negative things. So, I wanted to say one way that God works is um, in your walk on this earth, whatever you're going through, he'll use your life as an example for other people's lives, but he won't do it in a way that like you're free and you can be like, I am sharing this with you because I'm so much better and I'm so far ahead. He's going to put his finger on something in your life that's real that you really have to deal with. And it's like, you're humble because you're like, I really have this stupid problem and I'm going to deal with it. And then they see you dealing with it and it helps them deal with their problems. And and nobody can take credit for it because God's doing it. And he put his finger on everybody's stuff where it rubs you this way and it rubs you that way. And and um, one thing is that everybody has pride and everybody has judging and criticism in their heart. It's just a part of mankind's wicked heart. But if you were raised with a lot of control or fear and intimidation, you're always striving with that conditional love, which even if it's unconditional love, the world system is set up to make you try to compete and be better than other people and have someone to blame and not, you know, make yourself look good. And God's really just getting down to the nitty gritty, nitty gritty. Um, I guess I could share. I, this looks so bad. I'm sorry. Um, I was praying about this negativity and my daughter and I just had an argument one day after two months being together but with three little toddlers and a pregnant mama and, and no sleep and all kinds of different things going on. That's pretty good. We do it really well. But um, it's a miracle anybody gets along with anybody every day because we all have our issues. But um, I was really praying, God. I don't want to say things that get taken a wrong way. When I'm trying to make a comment to help. Maybe this would help the baby and they think you're trying to tell them what to do. And maybe you have a spirit that is trying to tell people what to do. So you really repent and say, God, let's help us all get along. But I was laying in bed and praying and praying and praying. God, you know, everywhere I've said a wrong word, just undo it and, and just set me free from being negative and speaking negatively or always saying something contrary or always having to my dad would do that he'd be well, I'm the double side of kids like don't do that don't let's speak positively not in an unrealistic way but always take a positive approach and so I really prayed and when I went to bed I got up in the middle of the night like I do I take the dog out get a little snack maybe I'll get cereal or a cup of milk take the dog out look at the stars and those clouds in the sky and then go back to bed watch a video or something and so like 4 a.m. I'm falling asleep and I all of a sudden had a vision of myself laying in my bed it was gray light and I saw as I'm laying down from the side of my head like this wide area up to like a funnel area way way high high up in the sky and it was like these little black birds and it was like a funnel but upside down and it was like sucking out of this left side of my head away high trailing trailing away up into the sky all this flock of black birds and like every black word was like a negative word that was spoken which is a curse and they're like birds in the bible and the spirit birds are like a representation of spiritual things and they were all just sucking out of my head flying up into the sky in this gray twilight and i woke up i was just marveling at it and praying about it what did it mean and um i'm gonna i, I saw a cloud picture later i'm gonna have to go comfort a baby i'll, I'll make part two bye